Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a spanned volume with multiple hard drives in Windows. And so I'm going to do this on a Oracle VirtualBox virtual machine here. So that way I could you know, easily add my hard drives and demonstrate it that way. So I have this Windows 10 VM here. And so if I go to the storage settings, here's my system drive with Windows on it. And I have these three 5 gigabyte hard drives that I added just for demonstration purposes. And so I have that running here. So what you want to do is once you get your hard drives installed, you know, you could have two if you, if you don't have to have three. Um, you want to go to disk management. And so you could just do a search for that. And click on where it says create and format hard disk partitions. And so I already had one of these in drives installed. So when I install these other two, um, it's going to want to initialize them, so I'm going to use GPT, that's the newer, newer standard. Okay, let's make this, let's see this a little better here. Alright, so once again, here's our C drive, and here's the three 5 gigabyte drives underneath that. And they're all online. So what I want to do is just right click on any one of them, and click on New Spanned Volume. And then wizard's going to come up, click on next. And so here's the one I clicked on. So I want to add these other two, just highlight them and add them. And so you could see, you could use all of the disk space in each drive, or you could use just some of it if you want to use the rest for something else later. So here's the total size, 15 gigabytes out of the three, five gigabyte disks. Click on next and give it a drive letter. I'm going to, let's say, let's use S for spanned. Click on next. And let's just call it span just for fun. And NTFS file system, of course. We're going to do a quick format just to get it over with. Click on next. And then here's our summary here. Click on finish. And it's telling us it's going to convert it to a dynamic disk, which is what you need for this kind of procedure. So we're going to say yes to that. So now I've switched them all to dynamic. It's formatting. And now there it is. So we have our C drive and our span drive. What are the properties of it? We have our 15 gigabyte total. And then we can, you know, start putting files in there if we want. That kind of thing. So now with a span drive, there's no redundancy. So if one of these disks fails, then you're out of luck. You lose everything. So I'll demonstrate that for you right now. So what I'm going to have to do is shut this down and remove one of the disks real quick. Okay, so let's go back to the settings here. So let's take out this disk here. Okay, now we're going to start it back up and then go back into disk management. Okay, so we're back in disk management and you can see that our span volume has failed. We have our two disks here. Here's the one that was removed. It says missing. And if we go to our Windows Explorer here, you'll see that our S drive is now gone. So like I was saying, there's no redundancy. It's not like a RAID volume where you could you know, recover your data when you lose a disk. So you're kind of out of luck here. So if for some reason, this you just unplugged it and plugged it back in, then you'd be able to um, reactivate the volume with that same disk but if you try and add a different hard drive and reactivate it's not going to work so so once again um, span volume is just a way to take multiple disks and turn them into one volume so you're actually writing to all three of them but there's no redundancy and if you lose one then you lose all your data so it's just something you want to use to you know, increase your speed or something but if you want to get something more redundancy you want to try and raid volume like a mirrored volume or that kind of thing so you might want to check out our mirrored volume video that we also have. And that's about it. All right. Well, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.